Antifiona, I'm sorry. I can't do this pageant. It'll, it'll break my mother's heart. Her heart will heal as long as you follow yours. You told me your grandmother was a picture bride. Your mother is a housewife. Now, you have an opportunity they never had. An opportunity to shine. I just don't see what doing a beauty pageant has got anything to do with going to college. Maybe I can raise the money a different way. Listen to me very closely. There is a reason why I am the number one realtor of Century 21 in the whole Bay Area. <laughs> <coughs> Last year I sold 75 houses and I'm a very rich and happy lady. You want to know how? Yes, of course. I have a sharp mind and good eye for properties. But I also wear expensive suits, pretty makeup, and have a very charming personality. <laughs> especially for young ladies, is like an egg roll. <laughs> to get to the delicious meat inside, outside, has to be golden and inviting. <laughs> <laughs> and walk, 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 and stop, turn, turn again, and walk, 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 and stop. Smile, smile. Back straight, now you are beautiful Chinese swans gliding on the pond. Come on, glide on the pond. I said glide, glide on the pond. Number 14, step to the front please. Very nice swan. Thank you. And what community will you be representing? <clears throat> what do you mean? Hong Kong community of Hayward, Taiwanese community of Redwood City, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, I guess the Singaporean American community of South San Francisco. <laughs> There's like three of us. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your role model and why? I don't really have one. I mean, I guess I'm willing to learn from whoever wants to teach me. Why are you doing this pageant? Maybe it could be an opportunity for me to shine. Let's see your talent audition, please.
of the Miss Teen Chinese USA pageant is number 14, Miss Gwendolyn Yo. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Our new queen is talking to her family. Let's have them all come up on stage. <laughs> Hello, Gwendolyn's dad. How do you feel? You must be so proud. Oh, I am, I am. She was a dark horse tonight. Truly a dark, dark horse. <laughs> <laughs> now, Gwendolyn, which college are you going to use your scholarship for? Definitely for a college in Los Angeles. <laughs> Wonderful. Isn't that great, Gwendolyn's mom? <laughs> look, 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 look at all the, the, the cameras and, and the lights. <laughs> and who is this <laughs> smallish, pale-skinned girl? You must be Gwendolyn's younger sister, Rosalind. You must really look up to Gwendolyn. I'm sure you want to be just like her. <laughs> I'm her older sister. I'm pre-med at Berkeley. Oh, ready then. And I'm her oldest brother who came all the way from Cambridge, England to see his little sister win a crown. I'll tell you what, being up here is neater than sauce on a chicken. Y'all have yourself a great night, you hear? Y'all have yourself a great, great night. Hey, little lady, I'm gonna get you a number. It's a great ensemble, I think. <laughs> your mother. Your father might have given you his permission to go to Los Angeles, but I haven't. When did what you have to say in this family count for anything, Mom? I actually thought you came in here to congratulate me on tonight. I'm going to Los Angeles. Just don't do anything stupid. Singapore on a map. Most people are idiots. <laughs> I'm obviously not the most attractive man in the world, I know that. But I know I'm damn smart. 
I embrace my eccentricities, and because I do, people buy my books. <laughs> a lot of my books. I know, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I, I, I've read all of your books. <laughs> you own all of my books. Well, I, I don't own them. I mean, I, I read them in the library. I, um, I work full-time as a resident assistant in the dorms, and I work just full-time on the weekends, and that's not enough to cover my regular textbooks. There's no need to explain. I understand completely. I had to put myself through school, too. But you might have an easier time than I did. <laughs> Why is that? You're not ugly. You're not ugly, Professor Nolan. I bet you make better tips than I would. <laughs> Look, I think you're bright and charming, and I know it sucks to be a poor student. So, if you don't mind a part-time secretarial type of job in my office, I could throw a few hours a week away for as long as you need. How does that sound? <laughs> it's a great opportunity. You know, I'm a bit of a celebrity around campus. I would be... Honored. That's awesome, thank you. <laughs> Through the process of working for Professor Nolan, I discovered the girl from Ipanema. <laughs> I met celebrities at his book signings, and I stopped putting red wine into the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I worked for Professor Nolan till the end of my junior year. Uh, the printer's out of ink, but I called Staples, so you're set for the summer, and the articles for the reader are compiled and on your desk. And I guess, uh, that's it. So, full time at the restaurant for the summer, huh? Yeah. I uh, can't get you to stay. You pay me $8 an hour. The university pays you $8 an hour. I know, but I make four times that at Drake's, and without the RA job for the summer, I have to pay for rent, and I, I can't afford it, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna miss you, though. Did you look in your inbox? Oh. Professor, what is... Oh my gosh. Oh my god. It's a Diane von Furstenberg. It's $398. I can't accept this. Oh, please. My wife buys her stuff all the time. The more she hates me, the more expensive the dresses. <laughs> DVF is nothing. I'm sure your wife doesn't hate you, Professor. Oh my god, look at these shoes. <gasps> this is too much. This is this is too beautiful. I can't I can't accept this. You slog away for me your whole junior year for eight dollars an hour. You deserve it. What am I supposed to do with this stuff? You wear it. Put it on for one of those dumb college boys. So he can take me to subways in it? <laughs> <laughs> try it on. Are you serious? Yes, try it on. Okay. <laughs> 